The following is an conversation between university student and his professor at University Malaysia of Pahang. Assalamualaikum professor. I'm coming to you because I have some question to ask you about contemporary issues in Islamic and Asian civilization. Waalaikumsalam Fahan, no problem. Please have a seat. First, let me thank you for making an appointment with me during my office hours. Although you would be welcome to come by anytime or during office hours, the fact you made an appointment is a plus. I have scheduled the time we need to make sure all your questions are answered. Thank you for giving me time to make an interview with you, Professor Hafiz. So let's not wasting our time. My first question is about the domination and globalization. So what is the meaning of these two words, domination and globalization, Professor Hafiz? Okay, the meaning of domination means dominance and control of one group over other group with or without the threat or force. And hegemony means to lead. In Yunani word, hegestai. And the second one, globalization means the borderless process to locate the world in one authority, no borderless territory and geographical area. So, in what aspects Western try to dominate other countries? Okay, there are four aspects Western try to dominate other countries. The first one is in terms of politics. Second, in terms of economics. Third, in terms of media. And fourth, in terms of social and cultural. What do you think about the issues of Western domination towards the Muslim countries? Okay, in my opinion, the most Western domination of Muslim countries is the issue of terrorism. Western countries label Muslim as terrorists through the internet, CNN and BBC channel. They also promote the idea of prejudice and stereotypes that Islam is terrorist, violence, extreme, fanatic and not they will not tolerate the tragedy of 11 September. They also promote Islamophobia, fear towards Islam and Muslim community. It is called as neo-colonism towards the Islamic countries, new version of domination that promoted by Western. The dark situation among Muslims overwhelmed all over the world. So, what is the characteristic of Western civilization, Professor? Okay, the characteristic of Western civilization, huh? Okay, the contemporary Western civilization is based on deep-rooted intellectual foundations that date back as far as ancient Greek and Roman cultures. There are three aspects that involve in this question. Number one is the fraught knowledge of divinity. The Western perception underlying Western civilization does not have a neat, clear-cut vision of God living up to his true dimension. It is rather a hazy and blurred vision. The second one is the materialistic propensity, which believe in the primacy of matters as a basic for understanding the universe, knowledge and behaviors denying at the same time the metaphysical and spiritual dimension. The third one is the circular tendency, which is the upshot and the corollary of the two preceding characteristics. It is tendency which separates religion from social life. Okay, uh, this is my last question. What is the positive aspect of Western civilization towards the Muslim? About the positive aspect of Western civilization, Western civilization has positive aspects benefiting humanity. It offers a lot of advantages and above all, shares many positive sides with the Islamic civilization. The positive sides, the first one is progress of science and technology. Progress in mathematics, natural science and their technological applications it offered means and tools that were never available before and reduced distance bringing remote locations closer while saving time. The second one, it provides us with the psychological and rational atmosphere that facilitates his self-accomplishment 
and secures for him sound administration and good governance helping fulfill work efficiently through the mechanism of reward and punishment. The last one is the Western civilization has ensured a society where individual freedom and basic rights are respected. Under these conditions, man enjoys his dignity and feels liberated from fear and humiliation, becoming thereby productive and useful for his fellows. Thank you for spending your time, sir. I hope that you will have a fine day today. It's okay, and a fine day to you too.